Now, places of worship in England will be able to reopen their doors for the first time next Monday. Churches, temples, synagogues and mosques will be able to accommodate private prayer only. Full services and group worship will start later after a consultation. One of the largest Sikh temples, or Gurdwaras, in the country has responded to the lockdown by reinventing itself as an emergency food operation, delivering thousands and thousands of meals every day to NHS staff and those most in need. This film is by our reporter Jim Reid. In the kitchen of a Sikh temple or Gurdwara, volunteers are preparing hot meals. This part of life hasn't changed. Chickpeas and rice and kidney beans and rice is what we're making at the moment. But places of worship are still shut to the public, so the volunteers here have had to reinvent the langar or community kitchen. One thing that's phenomenal about langar is that it's never stopped. In 550 years, it's never stopped. Pandemics, no pandemics. And so for us, we've had the opportunity, instead of people not being able to come in to us, that we can take, take the food out to them. The temple is now working with councils to send food out to the local community, trying to reach the people most affected by lockdown. My husband is a 90-year-old. He's terminally ill. I feel nervous to go out there and stand in the queue, not knowing who in front or behind me has actually got the virus. I haven't been out in this gate since the lockdown March. My husband's on aspirin, oxygen all the time. But what started in one small room has grown quickly, now reaching 6,000 hot meals and hundreds of food parcels every day. This is what would be going out to, to one household. Uh, bags of tea, probably about 20 to 25 bags of tea. From, from the day that we began, the demand grew. Either people uh, income are being affected, um, or more people in isolation, and that's why the project is now seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Meals are also delivered to NHS hospitals and homeless projects like this one. The government says it has taken action to protect those affected by the virus, including an increase in universal credit. But demand for food banks hit a record high in April, and there are worries that as emergency support is wound down, the situation could get worse. I, I wouldn't say I'd be relieved or happy when the food programme is over. Uh, I would be relieved and happy that people don't need food anymore from us. But until that time comes, until our resources are, are completely finished, we're going to carry on. In England, the doors of Gurdwaras like this will reopen to the public next week, but for private prayer only. A consultation on full reopening is now taking place, but that's unlikely to happen before July at the earliest. Jim Reid, BBC News.